All right, niggas. For video, been like ten seconds, but anyways, it can only be like five minutes. So like, fuck. Once it gets to the seven, I gotta be done. Give me seven minutes, actually. But anyways, I gotta talk about you about how I got jumped. So anyways, this fucking kid. <clears throat> we met up at Ray Gong's, right? So anyways, we're just chilling. I got my fucking lyrics in my bag because we've been car hopping the night before this. I got the cops called on me. I got handcuffed, nigga. Oh, shit was crazy. I was high as fuck. Weed, obviously, not acid, you know. I'm not that crazy. <sighs> shit. And, uh... Yeah, it's just how it goes, you know. You know, and, uh, this wind. I tell you what, it's been a cold-ass fucking day. And, uh, a cold-ass fucking life lately with being jumped and all that bullshit. Got a little hole in it, but that's all good. Yeah, guys, it was uh, some asshole. I honestly think it's because it's all butt hurt because I wouldn't buy his pills because I'm a better rapper than him, you know, because I'm a rich kid and I got it all figured out better than he does, and he's a poor ass, broke ass nigga. And uh, he's just a bitch, really. So what happens? <sighs> he was, God was giving him piggyback rides, right? And then he finally, he got his, he still had his arms around me. And he's like, he's patting me on the chest. He's like, Jonas, come on, man. We're friends, you know. I know you spilled your drink on me, but we're good, man. And then he fucking chokes me. This ends up with him choking me because his hands are already right in this position, you know. And his friend popped me ten times in the fucking face. Till I, I don't remember how many times, but. I just remember. Fuck, I thought I was straight up in a bad acid trip or something, man. It was fucking hell. I was laying on the ground like, what the fuck just happened to me, man? Like, did I just get struck by lightning? Did What the fuck? Because it was that insane, you know? And, uh... Man, I needed this for this video because it's just stressful to talk about. So, uh... I get up, you know, I'm all fucking, I'm terrified, you know, I'm, I'm finally coming back in my sentences and I'm just realizing, oh shit, this did happen, because I mean, it wiped out my memory for a minute there, I was on the ground, I was in another world, I felt like I was in hell, I was just laying there, like I'd been in, like I was in a coma or something, and people were fucking torturing me and I can do shit about it, like, that's what it felt like, so anyways, I finally come up to my sentence senses probably about three minutes to 30 seconds later. I can't really tell. And, uh, shit, they, they never took my hat, but, uh, or my jacket or my phone, but they got my backpack, you know, because he took my backpack off to give him piggyback rides and shit. We were just having fun after we car hopped. You know, we smoked a few cigarettes. We never got high. If I had weed and I got him high, that would have probably been a different story. He would have probably been happier with me. You know, it's bullshit. I feel like this whole thing started because I spilled my drink. I swear to you. That kid, he got so butthurt about it. Like, holy shit, grow up the fuck up. Like, that's exactly what I was thinking, but I couldn't respond that way because I felt bad, you know? And I, I could tell he was mad about it and shit. Look at this hat. They never got it. This hat, they fucking popped it off of my face, though, before I knocked to the ground. Fuck. It was horrible. I still feel like a lot of pain right in that area. It was more tenor a few days before. Just a second. And, uh, that was coat. That was fucking my neighbor driving by. And, yeah, I got up. I was scared as shit that they were going to come back and beat me again, dude. That would have been terrible. I was just paranoid walking around, and then I was like, fuck. They, they, oh, fuck. Yeah, they left. That was just, that was all that I was concerned about. I knew that I'd be fucked if, I, if they didn't 
You know, and they got my backpack. It had my clothes in it because I was planning on being homeless. It had my clothes in it. It had underwear, socks, fucking. It had a bunch of my lyrics that I was working on, you know, because I, I, I first start, I, the reason I ran away in the first place was to go up to this nigga's house so I could fucking rap. He was a producer. He made beats. He had all this gear that I didn't have. He turned out being the same Zodiac sign as me, and then he blocked me because he's a fucking douche. I gave him a lot of shit, though, you know. We car hopped. I car hopped with that nigga, but he's still a pussy, I think. Didn't smoke weed with us because he was getting drug tested at his job interview or some bullshit. And, uh, yeah, the cigarette's gone, so, uh, it's not my day. No, I'm just kidding, nigga. Looking all thug with this orange and blue and purple. Orange and purple? I don't know. And, uh, yeah, I'm pissed that they fucking got that. I swear, man. I was gonna drop him. I went all over town looking for him. Wait a minute. And, uh, I think I got one minute left. I'm gonna finish it off. Say that fuck. Don't fucking trust people like that, man. If you're not friends with them, don't fucking let them put their arms around you and give them the opportunity to even choke you like that, man. It's fucked shit. You know, you could just get your shit rocked like that. Man, he choked me. I couldn't even breathe when they were hitting me. I couldn't scream. I couldn't do shit. I couldn't even. I wasn't planning on hitting back because I knew that I couldn't do shit about it. They had me choked, man. I could have whipped both of their asses. They're weak bitches, but, uh, it just didn't go that way. Especially with both of them on me. They're always with each other, man. It's like they got each other's backs or some bullshit. I hate those kids, and, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Peace out.